My three brothers and I have gotten together to make Optimus dinghies for our kids who are all under the age of 11 years old. We're using the Cleveland Amateur Boat Builders and Boat Builder Society plans. They're very close to Clark Mills original 1949 plans down in Clearwater. And uh, we're getting set up in the shop today. We're going to try to uh, get the legs ready for uh, the three station molds, which are the transom and the bow, and then there's a middle station, and all that's going to become the framework of the boat. We're using just glue and screws to put everything together. We don't really want to use any kind of epoxy. We've worked with epoxy before, but it's not. It's one of the, we just want to make really inexpensive boats that our kids can go out and smack around in in the lake. We out on Lake Ontario, we have mostly rocks, and so the theory is that the kids should go out and have fun not worry about what kind of boats they're in, not worry about gel coat, not worry about fiberglass, just go out and have a great time. Right now we've taken our, our three strong backs, we've laid them out, and we're just starting to cut the angle for the bow pieces at the 22 degrees. We've got our plans right over here. Three strong backs finished. 22 degree angle on the front to set the, uh, the bow. The center section frame off of this 2x4 in the center and then the transom off the back and they're all three ready to go. Alright, to determine this curve right here, we're at the top of the rough cut transom and dropping down to get this measurement for how far across this 19 should be. Alright, now we're using a batten to establish the curve for the top of the transom. The actual side of the boat and then the top of the curve for the transoms there and it's just a, you need to cut it. bow piece off the center line. And we're going to establish this curve right here. The extra thumb there, I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Here's the intersection for the side of our curve. We reach the top here and then bend it back down with a batten down to here to establish the line. I'm going to go on the and let's uh the curve is gonna be dead, right? Yep. And where's the right to the very top. Okay. Right to the very top. Pretty tight. I'll I got my thumb right there. Okay. Is it to the top? Looks like it. Yeah. Right now we're laying out the center bulkhead here with a slight angle for the center line, 21 and a sixteenth, the bottom 20. We're trying to establish this angle on the transom right now. In this back corner here and this, this upper corner to it. So, we'll draw it down to add here, which would make that cut farther in that way. Uh, we've notched this for the Keelsons, and then we're trying to establish this corner cut right here that has to, has to come in at an angle, which over here on the big drawing shows that this transom has to accept this Keelson at a slight angle. Here. All right. The consensus is that we're gonna we're gonna cut these uh, cut these into uh, the keelsons, cut those into these boards, make up the whole boat so it looks like sitting up on the strong back, and then we'll make these uh, these final cuts once we know the angle. 
we'll set this up first with these three in place. We're gonna we're gonna wait on these until we have all this in place, and then make those uh, those cuts will be final uh, after everything's in place. At the moment, we're just uh, trying to identify these uh, spots for the the Kielsen and these these stringers that run through here. Here's our mid frame cut out right here, and um, we've uh, established the center line, and then from that we've built off the measurement for this uh, three and a half, and this one and a half for the for the Kielsen and the and these other stringers that run along next to it. I'll have to cut those out. Uh, 20 degree angle along this edge here, and there's also a, a 30 degree angle up here, and since we didn't set it up to cut the uh, bow piece ahead of time, we've had to set up our table saw with a, a fence so we can rip down through and not lose any material. All right, we've got the, uh, right here, we've got an angle that has to be cut back, and that's gonna be at 30 degrees, and to make that cut right here at 30, set up the table saw okay. so that the angle of the blade would match that 30 degree cut right there. So when I cut back into these slots, I just nibbled away at it and uh, was able to put that 30 degree cut in our bar piece. Mm -hmm. Alright, this only requires a steady hand and nerves of steel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a set of legs we're going to put on the bow and glue them in place with some, what kind is that? PL, Loctite, Premium? Polyurethane. Polyurethane. Piece of, is there much of a hole there? Okay, here it is. Bow number one in place. All right, we got two bows set here on the table saw, ready to go on. We got the one in place. And next time we'll try to attach more frames. Mm -hmm.